Hello and welcome back everyone to the Powder Toy. And today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. So, we all know that I am quite capable of creating nuclear weapons in this game. We've had some good runs. Gravity bombs. Proton bombs. Neutron bombs. But, today we're going to see how small we can get a weapon with it still being completely effective. No singularity, because we, we know that a single pixel of singularity can wipe out this entire base immediately. But everything else is fair game, and we want to see if we can make it destroy the entire map with as few pixels as possible. So to start, I'm going to make this absolutely tiny container out of uh, ceramic. And I'm going to just go ahead and throw my first attempt out here. I think that using a proton bomb with deuterium, I think I can do it with 9 pixels. I think I can wipe everything out. I'm going to have to add a few more 9s to this command. Fantastic. Pause. Remove the center point. Get a single proton and I think, potentially, we'll go frame by frame so we see what happens. Frame 1. Frame 2. Frame. It didn't set off. Well, that, that's a waste. Try to set it off again. Yeah, I think it's too small to get a uh, reaction, or we need to bounce it uh, far more effectively. So we're going to have to actually use insulation because it's so tiny that getting the uh, particles to bounce off of each other is actually challenging. Alright. Deuterium. Give it super high power and throw a proton in. Now this proton should bounce. There we go. Frame one, two, three, four, five. Something is definitely happening in here. Oh, wow. Okay, so it certainly took off that time. Um, but I don't actually see the protons doing. I mean, this deuterium is thousands of degrees, but where's the proton explosion? I mean, just a massive wave of deuterium at the high temperatures isn't going to be able to breach the bunker below. It'll certainly make it through the buildings above, but this is not, this is not going to be effective enough. No, we would have needed to have another proton hit like this to do the major amount of damage. Yeah. Yeah, see, see, that is enough to do some big damage. <laughs> but we didn't do it. The 9 pixels just didn't hold up. So that makes me question if uh, perhaps it needs to be larger. Perhaps 9 pixels is just not enough. I'm going to try using titanium this time. And technically it's not even 9 pixels because we've got all these pixels on the outside as well, which I really should be counting. But it is pretty small. I think we can agree that this bomb is extremely tiny um, compared to the other ones we've been using. Let's try this. Oh, that was interesting. So it's certainly... Oh! Wow. That was really interesting. It had like two bursts. And the second one was absolutely ferocious. But it wasn't enough. Not nearly enough. I mean, it took out the top of the city pretty effectively, but the, uh, the bottom layer is completely unaffected. So, that actually- I can actually control Z that back. That actually- I want to see that frame by frame what happened. So, oh, I'm gonna have to press this pretty quickly. Oh, wait, I gotta put the proton in. Boop. Okay. So, after that hit... It did like a pulse afterwards, or at least last time it did. Oh, it, it bounced straight back at it again. What are the chances of that? And this time it looks like it went off much more violently. Look at that. That is uh, far more damage than the first time around. There is a heck of a lot more protons, and it looks like the deuterium has been spread much further, causing it to be able to do more damage. Let's go ahead and play this and see what happens. Wow! All of that from 9 pixels of deuterium. 9. 
I don't know if it'll be able to breach the lower bunker, though. That's the question. It's at 6,000 degrees, though, so I think it might be able to. It would appear that we are actually managing to get into this side where the elevator used to be, as I'd expected. I don't know if we'll make it all the way through, though. But it's getting close. It's getting really darn close. And look at the pressure causing this big wave of molten material to fly out on the east side of the map. Oh, there it goes. It's going to break through. I'm almost certain of it. The titanium's at 1,200. Just needs to go a little, little bit higher. 13, 14, it's about to melt. It's going to do it. <laughs> Possibly. Potentially 1,500. Come on. Come on. Oh no, it dropped. It dropped quite quickly. What's going on? Oh no. Oh no, it's breaking through. <laughs> there it goes. It's at least completely wiping out this uh, colloid protective layer. This is this is so, so close to falling apart. I mean, this is at 3,000. Oh, there it goes. Finally, it breaches and it goes through, wiping out the entire bottom bunker. Well, maybe not. Or I'm assuming it'll wipe out the entire bottom bunker. It very well could fail to do that. I mean, over here, it's all like 3,000 degrees. Oh, what just happened? Oh, it breached the deuterium container that's in the bunker. Too bad there aren't some protons or neutrons hanging around. Um, this may actually make it worse for us because this is going to soak up a lot of the heat. Oh, maybe not. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. It looks like it's actually helping carry the heat through. It's uh, leaking and everything, and if it breaches that container right there, the one with the neutrons, that would be uh, fairly catastrophic. Look at the amount of deuterium! And it seems like when it expands, it keeps its temperature. So this massive wave of just 3,000 degree deuterium is just being unleashed onto the entire bunker. This may be the, the help we needed to succeed in our journey. Yeah, look, everything is starting to melt. It's just so much heat and mass. What, what can you do? Sorry about the squeaking. <laughs> Oh my god, oh, it's starting to leak from above! Oh no, and the deuterium's just flying in! Look at it go! It's just absolutely breaching. If it goes and hits that those neutrons, it's going to be absolutely game over. Look, they're breaking through here, leaking through. It's now only like one room away from those neutrons. This is really interesting watching this happen. I mean, my FPS is absolutely wrecked at this point. This is quite laggy with this much liquid. The funny thing is it's it's just so high powered that it, it's falling out of the map, but it's just not going away. And it, wow. Wow, it just, it won't stop. What is this, GameStop? It, it, it's not slowing down. Get the party started. Ooh. <laughs> Wow, that really burst the bunker open. Uh, there's no real way to uh, get around that. The secondary explosion is even more brilliant than the first. Look at the amount of plasma that's just being thrown around. Absolutely insane. And the neutrons are just eating up all of that deuterium. After that, all that remains is just... Death. Death and destruction. Just how we like it. Okay, so as I said before, I, I wonder if you could do it with one pixel. I mean, <laughs> potentially, if you if you had just a tiny container here. Okay, tiny, tiny, the smallest I can get without it leaking. And then you just put a single piece of deuterium in. Did the life 99999 whatever, and then just cut a hole in it. I mean, if someone really wanted to attack, they could blow a hole into it and then hit it with a proton. And I mean, it's pretty much immediately game over from a single pixel. 
Like, you can't stop that. There, there's no, there's no blocking that explosion. There's no surviving that. Even the bunker falls. I wonder if we could do better without using deuterium, though. The issue is that deuterium is just so effective at being compressed and used for explosives. I feel like a small amount of exotic matter would still be able to do a lot of damage, though. Let's go ahead and grab this exotic matter very quickly. Fill this bad boy up, train it a tiny bit, and let's go ahead and hit it with some electrons. Because that's how you get exotic matter nice and excited. Hit it with lots of electrons. And it goes rainbow! Charlotte, could you choose any toy other than the really squeaky one? Jeez. Look at it, it's so excited! And now it's going to any second now. Wow, it really does eat a lot of electrons. Let it go. It'll be a year before it actually gets set off. Well, that's good. The more energy we can feed into it before... Oh! And it bursts. And I mean, the exotic matter does manage to do an insane amount of damage, considering the small size. And the fact that it's not even compressed, that that is legitimately just like... 30 to like a hundred pixels of exotic that just managed to wipe out the entire upper city because I think it hits like 9,000 degrees. It gets ex insanely hot and if I turned on ambient heat I probably would have wiped it out much faster the first time. That's quite a bit of damage. Um, you can't, you can't really, I mean there's a few ways that you could potentially beat that. We can try broken vibranium, you know good friend. The thing about Broken Vibranium is it absorbs energy and then it lets that energy out. Um, can I just hit it with protons? Is that is that a viable method to excite it? It would appear it is a viable method to excite it. That's, that's good. That's exciting. So I wonder if I just made a double ring here. Right? Double ring, fill this with broken vibranium, and start just throwing protons into here. That that should get it all excited, right? I think. Doesn't seem to be. Oh, wait. Nope, it's definitely getting brighter. I, def I definitely see something happening. Alright. Alright, this is this is definitely working. I don't know how much energy I can pump into this before it explodes, but I guess we'll figure it out. Alright. It's pretty damn bright. Uh give it a few more seconds. Did no, it's still going. It's still going. Ooh! Ah, uh, that wasn't really Oh wait, it melted the thing, but it didn't actually set off! Oh, jeez, here it goes. Ooh. A massive explosion into ecstatic matter, but still does not compare. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to say it. Deuterium just wins hands down. If you want to destroy an entire city with one pixel, deuterium is your choice. So thank you all for watching. I have to bring my dog out. Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.